Well, hello, my joyful subbies. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, here to bring you another DIY using a Dollar Tree cylinder gift box. That's right. When you see how this cute and adorable piece turns out, you're going to want to run to the Dollar Tree, purchase one for yourself, and recreate this project. I guarantee you. Well, if there's nothing else, it's time to craft. Let's go. As you can see, I have a red cylinder gift box from the Dollar Tree, some half bees that I purchased from Amazon. I have some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster that I purchased from Walmart and some jute rope that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm taking the sanding block that was also also purchased from the Dollar Tree and sanding some of the glitter off of the box before I paint it in the Waverly chalk paint in plaster. Now I'm wiping off some of the dust frays from the sanding block, removing the glitter, and now I am getting ready to paint. I was going with a totally different type of design, but then my creativity got the best of me and I decided to go with something different. That happens a lot with me that I just create something in my head and just go with it. So I am just giving this a good covering of this chalk paint. A lot of people, you know, have inquired about why I do this. I do this because I don't want any of the original color to bleed through when I'm using my rope projects because sometimes my designs may not always close up the entire piece and I want some of the color to show, but in this instance, I did not. As you can see, I was struggling to a few seconds with the tape so I decided to just paint over it not tape the sticker on the bottom of the gift box and now I am just wrapping the gift box in uh, the jute rope in a circular manner just following the shape of the gift box if you can't tell by now we are making a planter. That's right, a jute rope planter. And if you keep watching, I'm gonna add some elements to this design. And all of these things came right when I was creating this project. This happens a lot on my channel. And now I'm taking some black paint by Waverly. I think this is the color ink. And I am painting the base of the um, cylinder as well as halfway um, up the cylinder with this black chalk paint. I am painting the inside of this cylinder in black. This is giving it a higher end look in my opinion. Now I'm taking these bees. I did get eight of them in the same sizes and I am painting those beads black. I, because this came at the last minute, I didn't have time to run downstairs and get some um, sandwich bags to put them in. So I just went with it. I have this leather cord that I purchased from Timu. You will see this in the hall if you saw that. 
and I am wrapping it around. This is giving this a little bit of a boho look. If you keep watching, it's already looking cute. If you heard that click, my power had went out. We are in the middle of a storm right now, but I wanted to get this voiceover done for you guys so I can get this uploaded. And as you can see now, I am taking four of the beads and I am aligning them with the top layer of beads. And they are right above the um, black painted piece at the bottom keep watching you'll see what I'm talking about and now I'm adding some greenery some of this greenery came from uh, Michaels while other is mainly from the Dollar Tree And now for our second DIY, we are taking the top of this gift box and we're going to make a mini succulent planter. I am applying the white paint as a base coat. And as you can see, I am drying it with my heating tool that I purchased from Amazon. And now I'm taking the extra jute rope that I had, the straps or the scraps of it, and just going to the top and starting with the top and work my way to the bottom, meaning the top of the um, lid to the bottom of the lid. And I'm just wrapping it in a circular motion. That way when I finished wrapping the piece, the extra will be on the inside of this lid. When I say it doesn't take much money, to create beautiful home decor. I wasn't lying. You can really use just about anything. A cereal box. Uh, if you have an oatmeal box that's or in a cylinder container, you can use that and still recreate this look. And it's sturdy, I must add. By adding the rope, it makes it very, very sturdy. And now I'm just gluing the extra rope on the inside of the lid and burning the frays off, repeating everything I did with the larger planter. And as you can see, again, I am painting the inside of the lid black
and the top two rows also in black. And now I am drying the paint. And I was going to stop there, but then I had another idea. I decided to make this a little stand. So I'm taking some of the larger jumbo tumbling tower blocks. I think I purchased these in the, I want to say it was the dollar plus side, if I'm not mistaken. Or I got these from five and below. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, I have the jumbo dollar, I mean jumbo towering blocks. And we'll make a stand out of these. Like I said, this is something that just came as I was creating. And now I'm just adding some bees on it. And you see one at the top, one at the bottom, and I'm just lining it up, trying to get it as straight as possible all across the legs. But this is gonna be the planter or the succulent stand. And as you can see, I am Pressing and gluing these on the side. And now I am painting the top of the legs in that black chalk paint And then I painted the bottoms of the legs also. And now I am adding some rocks to this planter and adding a succulent. I did remove the some of the rocks so that I can glue the succulent down to the base of the lid. And there you have it. It's This DIY is now complete look at this guys is this not a high-end looking boho decor using a gift box and out of that one gift box i was able to create two beautiful high-end planter decors now you can opt to use the smaller tumbling tower blocks but i just had the larger one sitting there so i used those guys thank you for watching my video and thank you for your support until the next diy bye